basis of believing that it's necessary for our national security, which is, is a complete lie. You know, lies took us into the Iraq war and the lies uh, continue. Right now, it's created this migration of millions of people. Europe is much more vulnerable than we are. We have our problems here. But the American taxpayer pays for this, and we pay for it by debt. And, uh, you know, they claim we have a decent economy and we don't have to worry that much and jobs are coming back and all that nonsense. But we're paying for it, uh, the militarism, and there's a huge debt, and Europe is breaking out with uh, major crises, and you're going to see th uh, throngs of immigrants causing problems. And then the taxpayer, in our country especially, is, will be taxed for this. See, one of my approaches was quit subsidizing something. You won't have so much of it. And immigration is totally subsidized and rewarded. They come in. So I would say that uh, you've got to cut off the subsidies. But right now, even if you didn't cut off, even if you cut off the, the freebies, like all free medical care and edu education, that we'll have to spend money for maintaining, uh, you know, law and order where people aren't burning our cities down. Uh, but that is this was this is a predictable event uh, because of the foreign policy. I, I really think that you cannot look at our economic problem, problems without looking at the foreign policy because the foreign policy. Uh, so many of them are saying, you know what, we need more of the past. It's sort of like the Fed saying, well, exactly. we have problems, so we have to print more money and use more debt. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute, very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcast and audio podcast that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew, the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. intro and here we are live at 749 and 18 seconds central standard time we're simulcasting the intro of this also on facebook mentions we've got of course the one the only jakari jackson and the one the only the wonder woman of politics and the info war leanne mcadoo ladies and gentlemen and of course you know who i am 
Alex Jones, and we are here to fight the globalists. We have come to chew bubble gum and kick globalist butt. <laughs> and to quote the late great listener and viewer, Rowdy Piper, we're all out, out of, of bubble, bubble gum. gum. <laughs> now, the crew's asking me, I'm asking myself, what are we doing tonight? Because things are fast paced. I got a call at 7 a.m. this morning from Richard Reeves, our political correspondent, following Trump and the other candidates around the country. He's in Iowa for the big debate tonight, and we can punch it up on screen behind us. Uh, for TV viewers of InfoWars Nightly News and extended debate coverage, uh, we have a, a, an amazing shot. That's our feed, uh, not CNN, not the other two networks that are there covering the Trump event, but we've been invited in by the Trump people uh, to cover it as well. A true populist action, uh, that's a big plus in the Trump column. So we're going to have the 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 raw, free feed, commercial free at InfoWars.com forward slash show of that separately. Uh, we're also going to have a fusion feed that you're watching right now that's the main feed of the Fox debate with the other Republicans, the Trump debate coming up. And I talked to one of his chief people, uh, Mr. Stone, earlier today. You just saw that in the Nightly News, a rebroadcast of that. Uh, Roger Stone, that he's going to have Huckabee uh, and other people there, probably even endorsing him, but part of the event tonight. So that's going to be a big coup d'etat. Like, I'm not allowed to say everything I was told, but that's just probably endorsing him. So we'll see that come up. Uh, that's major breaking news here at InfoWars.com. Uh, and we're also uh, going to, again, be covering uh, the, 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 the CNN version of the Trump deal, our live feed, and then the fusion feed that I mentioned earlier, the top feed, the Shikari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, uh, Darren McBreen. We're going to have the writers in there in the InfoWars News Center uh, behind us controlling all of this, uh, popping in with tweets, comments, uh, their own analysis. In fact, whenever they want to jump in, during the live uh, mystery science political, uh, political science, science theater, theater. 3K. yes exactly i can never get it right there's no <laughs> teleprompter 3k we are going to have them popping in as well uh during the transmission so again to be clear this always gets confusing because we give people so many options <sighs> infowars.com forward slash show you'll find the main feed where we analyze the fox republican debate uh, our own feed that's going to be up there fed in of the trump deal the cnn version of the trump deal and our reporter, Richard Reeves, and our other reporters on the ground in Iowa for the big caucus is now about three and a half days away. Then we have the separate raw Trump feed, and then we have today's earlier feed of the radio show, all at InfoWars.com forward slash show. Now I'm going to stop ranting, and I'm going to go to Leanne McAdoo and Jakari Jackson to get their take on who has had the coup here. Is it Trump or is it Fox? Where is all this going? Do you support Trump? Do you support somebody else? And why? Well, as far as the situation we see going on with Fox News right now, as we saw in the last debate when Rand Paul decided to step out, he got more attention on his own platform than he did on Fox News. Now, to be fair, Trump does get a lot more airtime, so you could debate how much uh, this is going to help or hurt his campaign. But uh, personally, while he does say some things that I do agree with, I'm not personally a fan of Donald Trump. He said in the first debates that... His issue was that he's pretty much the man behind the curtain, because we always talk about the guy in politics, the man behind the curtain, the guy who's really pulling the strings. Mm -hmm. He calls around at 2 o'clock in the morning. He says, hey, this is what you're going to do. He admits to being that, and I respect his honesty. But at the same time, I, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure I want that kind of person to be the next president of the United States. He's yeah. like, I've paid basically all these people. Yeah. So he's not Toto. We call ourselves here Toto, pulling the curtain back. You're saying he's the guy, the great and terrible Oz, saying he's a good guy now? Go ahead. Well, yeah, I mean, so you're, you're saying you're not ready to cut out the middleman. You still like sort of having the politicians there to... No, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying I, I want uh, that the man behind the curtain or the, the puppet politician, but I'm saying I'm not sure if I want this guy just to be directly, you know, greasing the skids in his yeah. own accord. Well, and that's what I can't, I can't figure out. It seems, you know, I mean, here we work at InfoWars. We know that they're always playing games. So for me, I just can't tell if there is some sort of uh, reverse psychology going on with Trump saying, I'm going to do this at the exact same time as Fox News. And it's really going to boost ratings for everyone all around. Obviously, everyone's going to be wanting to see what Trump has to do. But then they're going to go back to Fox News to see how they respond and how, how they're handling it. And, you know, there's just no telling. It is a lot of showmanship. So. What do you think, Jakar, about what she just said? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, as I said earlier, you know, you can debate whether or not this can be a good move because he does get a lot of airtime. You know, he's, even when it cuts commercial, they show pictures of Trump. You know, he's definitely the guy that they choose to favor. As far as Fox News' angle on it, of course, they're going to attack him for this. You know, this is good fodder for people like Megyn Kelly. Uh, of course, O'Reilly, he, he was on O'Reilly last night. So he's given them a lot to talk about without even being there. So in that way, it does somewhat favor Fox News.
And it'll be interesting to see how they're able to twist the narrative now. Because they're obviously, they've been painting him as the villain, but now they're saying, ooh, Iowans, he doesn't like you either. He's being disrespectful to you. And just to sort of see how they're going to try and twist the narrative to get people to finally turn against him. They've been really working. Sure. Everything he said, you know, hasn't done that so far. So it'll be interesting to see after this. I want your take on what I'm about to say. And I'm going to try to codify this just in a minute or two. When Trump first came on the scene eight, nine months ago for president, I was still a big Rand Paul supporter because I know he's for real. I've known him 20 years. Doesn't mean I agree with everything he stands for or what he does, but I, and I know he's for real. I, and, I, and I know his dad. His dad was on today. And he, you know, he was on two weeks ago. But that said, I didn't trust Trump because what I knew about him was the big tycoon, the media owner, you know, the casino owner. But then when I saw establishment money line up from Republicans and Democrats against him, and when I saw demonization campaigns and them taking out of context what he said over and over again, it, it really started to say, hey, maybe he's for real. And then when they reached out to us through Stone, who's been basically a shadow manager, and before was this actual guy running you know, Trump uh, and his campaign, I was like, whoa. Uh, and the fact that um, Trump says he wants to make these global corporations that don't pay taxes come back here. Uh, things like that. The fact that he says we made terrible deals with China and everybody else, which is true. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that he says he wants to make America great again, that is in direct contravention with the globalist plan right. where they tell every country, you're not getting air conditioning or cars if you're in Africa. Mm -hmm. And here in America, you're going to lose those cars and air conditioning. Right. While they're all up there, he, he is in direct opposition to the austerity of Agenda 21 and neo-feudalistic fascism that is the eugenics goal. Now, that said, making him the underdog, they know how unpopular he is. Maybe doing that, they know makes him popular. And I'll say this, if he is a Joe Coat, if he is a Benedict Arnold and not a wannabe George Washington, he won't be able to hide anywhere in the world. He will be hated so much because the political anger of this cycle isn't like past ones. And every analyst admits that. 9% approval rating for Congress. U.S. government, biggest threat to American citizens in Gallup poll. If Trump tries to run a scam like other people have done, or he claims somebody threatens his family like Perot did and steps down in 92, he will destroy his legacy, his name, and everything forever. Right. And, and, and bottom line, he likes to win. He likes the art of the deal. He obviously is aggressive, somewhat narcissistic. Who isn't who's successful? And the inside baseball I have is, no, he's for real. He doesn't like seeing America collapse. He wants to save it and be the turnaround guy that saves America from the globalist. And he's supposedly a listener, is becoming educated about what's happening. Within one day of me coming out and saying, Trump, you made a big mistake, saying bring in the refugees, you better stop that. They're gonna be full of terrorists to take, you know, and then they'll attack. He came out uh, and said absolutely and repeated the same thing. And I'm not gonna get into inside baseball, but if he's slick enough to reach out to me behind the scenes, try to get the Patriot vote, man, he's something else. Because most of these people, even if I know they're closet patriots, they don't want to admit it. They want to talk to me behind the scenes. Trump's willing to put his money where his mouth is. So here's the bottom line, Jakari and Leanne. We don't know. Just like the Super Bowl coming up in two weeks. We don't know who's going to win that. We don't know if he's for real or not. Uh, if he gets in, starts doing the right things, and gets shot like Ronald Reagan, is that, I mean, they were after him. Then we know he's for real. Doesn't mean he's perfect. Right. But, but I agree. He said things like, I'm the biggest militarist you know. We'll have tons of spying to keep us safe. I'm the man behind the curtain. You know, he said in one column, five or six things I hate. The other column, 100 things I like. The difference is I know these other candidates either are establishment goons, mm -hmm. saying what we want to hear, or, or they just don't have what it takes to get in there and fight and get the leadership position. So then I have to morally default and say, I don't completely trust Trump, but here's the deal. I know Jeb Bush and right. his literal Nazi fortune family. Look them up, folks. That's why they're so right. powerful. And the son runs the CIA out of nowhere, Herbert Walker. And I know Hillary is pure evil. I know they're both in the same league, same team. They call each other family. So I know they're bad. And I don't go for lesser of two evils. But in a position like that, you've got to ask yourself, quick comment from both of you. They're about to go into the you know, pregame here with the Republican debate on Fox, the Trump event. Let's punch it back up. We'll go to that. Uh, I think we're mainly going to cover Trump tonight back and forth. Uh, but, uh, Jakari, your comment on my rant right there. Yeah, I mean, I respect Trump's boldness. And just like you said, he has said uh, some things I do agree with, but he also says some things I very much disagree with, you know, such as uh, he wants to enforce the no-fly, no-buy no, no buy list, you know. And that's something that 
We've heavily documented here all the kids that can't fly on planes because they have a name similar to a terrorist. Hold on. I didn't know he supported that. That's my understanding. I can't keep track. I believe he's a car. You're a news hound. Well, that, whoa, I'll, I'll bring that up next time I talk to him. Wow.